presentation volume, 0%. Good afternoon, and welcome to Blindformers. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today, I will be teaching you how to transform your Transformers Generations Legacy Laser Optimus Prime from their vehicle mode, which is the mode that comes in the packaging, to the robot mode, which is the mode that, you know, you have to find. So, if you like what you see here, and uh, you want to help raise awareness for the blind, go below and do everything everyone else asks you to do. And uh, we'll get right into this guy. <clears throat> so, first off, when transforming your laser off this prime, you want to re uh, remove the trailer and the accessories. So we're just going to take that, you know, lo Energon Lollipop and the tanker. Now, many people begin with the Optimus Prime first, but uh, I'm just going to start with the trailer. And then we're going to move on from there. Accessories first, followed by figure. So, to get the trailer to transform, first off, you want to take the bit that uh, plugs into the, your, your Laser Optimus Prime, the, uh, the trailer hitch, and you want to grab it with your thumb and forefinger and kind of pull it up just a bit. And then use your thumb to lever it up all the way. It's on a ratchet hinge. It's got one, it's got like three different states it can be in, either all the way up. 45 degrees or all the way down. So let's then take that as a handle and you want to pull it up all the way above the trailer which will take the uh, front part of the tanker trailer and fold it upwards. And after you've done that, you then take and move your hands to either side of the trailer, put your four fingers inside of the trailer and then pull the trailer in half. Each side of the tank will fall away and if you hold it by the center bit on the top of the trailer, it will come out of its socket because it's just held in there with a peg. So we just put that little tower bit back. There it goes. Okay, so Optimus Prime, you knocked your Energon eh, lollipop off. Okay, so after you fold down the sides, you're going to get a little ramp that will fold down in the front. And then you take this uh, tall tower bit that is the top of the tanker trailer and you want to fold it down, but first take the end of the tanker trailer, the thing that we folded up to begin this entire process, and you want to play with it for a second and rotate it 180 degrees around. So you got to spin this thing so that the top of it's now facing down and the bottom of it's now facing up. Once you've done that, then collapse the top of the tanker trailer in on itself and you'll make a little bitty tower that has this little laser gun at the top. And then at the bottom of it, you'll have this, uh, this little hook claw thing and a little platform that I guess uh, MicroMasters can stand on or something. But it's so waffly in there that you can't really get any figures to stand. So I don't, I don't understand it. This is one of those modes that I just don't understand. And we're definitely going to be talking about it tomorrow in the More Than Meets the Eye episode, so definitely tune in then, and uh, we'll talk about my likes, dislikes, but that's how you transform the trailer into a little uh, battle station, I guess. Uh, it's got siege ports, and we'll talk about all those next time. So we're going to slightly fold it up, and we're just going to set it over here so that it's out of the way. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Next up on our list is Laser Optimus Prime. So before you transform him, you want to make sure that you've removed all of his accessories, including the sword from his underside. So let's pluck that out. The sword is removed, and the laser, you know, and the Energon Lollipop is removed. So now we have just this really nice Freightliner truck. To start the process of transformation, I like to start from the nose. So grab the Freightliner truck nose, one half of it in each hand. You can figure out the halves by look, feeling underneath and you'll find that each half of the Freightliner front has two siege ports to itself, and you just want to split those in half. And once you split them in half, go ahead and roll them back on their hinges so that they it looks like a really bad truck accident. Somebody just split this truck in half and folded the edges off to either side. Once you've done that, you then grab the center of the window frame here, the windows on the Freightliner, Make sure you grab the center right below that center bar that separates the two windows, and then you fold that bit up. I say grab it by the center bar area because you don't want to add too much strain to this uh, clear plastic and stuff. After you fold it up, the, uh, the 
cockpit of your Freightliner. You then move behind it in that sleeper trailer, you know, that sleeper extension bit, and it's actually its arms. So you want to fold each of those upwards. And once folded upwards, then you're going to kind of thread them underneath this, uh, this window that you just folded backwards. So we just, it's a careful little process of unthreading it or you'll lose your arm. Ah, crap. I lost the arm. Come here, come here, arm. Get back in there. I really wish they don't, they wouldn't use those types of pegs because that is get that does get annoying. All right. So it looks like we're going to have to move some other pieces before that. Right, right, right. I'm getting ahead of myself. So on the sides of the vehicles, you get you feel the step ladder bit, you know, the step up so that you can get into the door. Each of those actually moves upwards 90 degrees. So go to the both sides and move those steps on uh, either side up. Once they're moved up, then we can take and mess with the legs. So the legs are going to get folded down by the hip. Just fold them down by the, at the hip, and then that entire thing is going to rotate out 90 degrees. So once you fold the legs by the hip, then you can just take and move the front of the vehicle while holding the legs, and you will actually uh, extend the truck by a bit. And since we're messing with the legs, go ahead and fold out the feet. And the feet are, of course, exactly the same as the Earthrise Optimus Prime. They're just the tail lights in the back of the truck bed. So you just unfold both of those. And now he can stand in his half transformed state. Moving on to the rest of him now. Now that we've actually extended those legs out, we can now hopefully get these get these annoying, annoying arms to take and unfold themselves. Come on now, arms. Come on now. There it goes. Okay. So this is a little bit of a tricky process because if you're, they lock in place really well. So what you do is while you're trying to get the arms out, push the front of the truck mode down into that gap that was just created by taking away the, uh, by moving legs further down. And that, that allowed this big negative space to appear. So if you push your figures uh, front down into that negative space, it unlocks the arms so that they can spin freely in their shoulders and each of them can rotate out from under the canopy of the Freightliner truck. And we just make sure we've done it correctly on each side. Are you out? Cool. Now that both of these pieces are out from behind, uh, from that truck canopy, you want to make sure that you've labeled, you know, you, you've stretched them downwards. Now we can take this truck canopy, and first off, we're going to pick up the Optimus Prime head that's revealed in there, and we're just going to make it go all the way up to the top. Now to do this though, we also have to push down. So where you feel the Optimus Prime head, you move it up, it sits at 90 degrees because there's something blocking it. That's actually the uh, chest area for your Optimus Prime in laser mode. So take the head, fold it upwards, then take your forefinger and push down as close to the head as possible. And what that will do is allow the center cockpit bit area. And it gets a little stuck because this thing's got a lot of little flaps. So you got to make sure that the flaps on either side of the uh, nose of the Freightliner truck, just below those two uh, siege ports, are folded upwards because there's two flaps there. And you make sure you fold them upwards to 90 degrees. And that will allow enough room for this, uh, the front of the Optimus Prime. So now we're going to spin it back around. We're going to push down on that front bit. And it's all going to rotate all the way around and be beautiful. Okay, now that you've pushed down on that front bit and you've rotated it around so that it's at a 180 degrees rotation, it's just on the direct other side of that bar from where it was to begin with. Underneath it, we'll find some things to fold out. So first off, you want to fold out his, um, his grill chest, and then that's just going to snap into place when you fold it out all the way. And underneath here, is there anything else we need to be aware of? Just remembering, making sure. No, other Optimus Primes had more stuff folded in there, but this guy doesn't seem to. So now that you've folded out that bit, and we've got his arms all akimbo, move back to his head. His head should just now fold over and lock into place at that spot that we just cleared for the head. There it goes, locked into place quite nicely. 
make sure his head is actually facing the right direction. And his head is a little stiff for me. Uh, the joint on it's kind of stiff. I don't know about the rest of you, but maybe it's a QC problem with mine. All right. Now that we've gotten all of this stuff done, we're going to then take the uh, those side... Remember those, um, those little side bits that I told you to fold out? The step stools? You're going to want to fold them back in now. But before you fold them in, you want to make sure that the chest piece for your Optimus Prime is folded up just a bit. It, so it's a, at a 45 degree angle, not entirely into its resting zone yet. Because these step stools on the sides have some pegs that are going to go into some peg holes that are available on the chest of the Optimus Prime. So once you've done that, once you've folded up both of those sides, now we're going to take his chest front and we're just going to fold it down into there and it will snap into place quite, quite nicely if you've done everything I've told you to do so far. Now push the head into place so it snaps into place nicely. And we go back around to the back of the vehicle mode, fold the canopy of the semi-truck up on its uh, ratchet hinge again, then rotate the legs 180 degrees on their waist rotation, and pull the legs apart. There it goes. And now we're just going to do the final finishing touches. So the final finishing touches are to what you do for these uh, nose bits on of the Freightliner truck is you pull them as far away from the body as you can on each side and they're going to become shoulder pauldrons that will hover above Optimus's arms. And those little flappy things I told you to fold up, now you fold them down. But not all the way down, they're just going to hide the, uh, the upper part of the shoulders for Optimus Prime. And then you fold the uh, shoulders forward until they click into place. And let's get the arms out. Let me get his hands out. Come on. His hands are actually a bit on the troublesome side to get out. They, but the best way to do it is feel on the front. You'll find that there's like a little hole. And then if you feel further down, you'll see that there's two notches right next to each other and a little rectangular slit cut out. So put your finger on those two notches and pull that bit down while holding on to the other side of the hand. So the side with the siege port's going to go folded down, and then the direct opposite side's got to be held in place so that you don't just bring everything down with you. And now you're going to fiddle in there for a second until you figure out how to uh, get that hand rotated out. And the hand rotates out. It doesn't rotate sideways like a circle. It rotates outwards, like a kind of like a door. So there we go. And the hand is rotated into its correct position. Follow the same steps with the other side. Grab the arm. Then take my finger and find those two little notches and pull the arm apart. Split it up. Reach in there and rotate the hand out. This is actually the difficult part. Is rotating this hand because it's so small. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Hey, hand. Hand, don't pull this on me right now. We're, we're doing a video, Optimus. Come on. Come on get, to, get, get your bloody hand out there. Sometimes these hands just do not want to leave. And they didn't really give you anything to assist. I mean, there's just a little bit of assistance right there. But it's not much. All right, come on. Come on, you bloody hand. Get out. Get Get out! Sometimes you can have a lot of trouble with these hands. Uh, that's part of this video that I enjoy showing case is occasionally little things like this really get in the bother. And you got nothing. Let's see, do I have my pokey stick? Handy dandy pokey stick coming at you. All right, so we got our handy dandy pokey stick. I'm gonna take our pokey stick in there. We're gonna grab that hand I'm gonna kind of rotate it out these this is the worst part of this Optimus Prime if it wasn't for this hand it'd be a lot better of a figure but these hands are just so stupid and they just don't want to work there it goes got it pokey stick all the way gotta love my pokey stick okay his hands out his legs are down let's make sure that locks into place and fold that bit over there and fold that bit over there cool there we go. There's him. Now let's take his lollipop and uh, 
he put his lollipop in his hand over here. Let me show you. See, eh. I want him holding his sword by his left hand. So we're going to put the lollipop in his right hand. And we're just going to slide it into the hand there. And now it becomes sort of a buckler shield on the side. And now the sword, now the sword is interesting. It has a notch at the bottom of the handle. And what you want to do is you want to put that notch in the hollow section between his grasping fingers and his thumb. Because he's got kind of a hand similar to G.I. Joe Classified or something, but it's made out of hard plastic. So be careful with this hand. But find that notch and then put that notch in the uh, empty zone between the hand, you know, between the fingers and the uh, thumb. And then uh, when you put it in, spin the sword 180 degrees and what you've done is you've locked it into his hand now he's got a lock grip on that sword you know in D, &D you got to wear plate mail to have a lock grip and he doesn't nope 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 and why isn't his arm working oh crud okay hey there it goes okay cool all right so that is laser optimus prime and how to transform him from his freightliner truck mode into his Laser Optimus Prime Mode. And one last thing I'm going to showcase is if you take these... Um, oh, fold that panel down. If you take his little... Um, his siege ports on his front here, you can reach in there and actually pull them out. Uh, actually, it's best if you grab, say... Come on. You grab this, all right? So this is a... See, oh, crud. I just snapped them into place even... This guy's got a lot of these really cool features, but they're really hard to accept get accessible to because they're just they just lock in there so well maybe i could showcase it on the other side maybe the other side isn't being a butt today all right so you're supposed to be able to pull these bits up there it goes all right so you can pull the bits up and the two siege ports and underneath there you get one two three four five six rocket noses that are sticking out and uh you do it with this guy too apparently back in the 90s this up oh, there it goes cool so there we go back in the 90s uh he actually had spring firing rockets that would come out so that was kind of cool but there you have it guys i hope you've enjoyed the show please tune in tomorrow on my more than meets the prime uh, more than meets the eye episode on optimus prime in his robot mode here and for a quick comparison of robot modes we have, to end out the video, we have Earthrise Optimus here, and we have Siege Optimus here. Earthrise, Siege, and Laser, and I just... Alright, come on. There we go. Okay. Hey, will you not thank you jeez you guys never want to be filmed you're always acting up whenever i'm filming all right let's split those get there goes and there you have it three optimi next to each other laser optimus prime is the tallest next to siege but earthrise optimus is lower than the than siege and laser siege and laser definitely went out on the height compared to earthrise well that's that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Please, you know, tune in tomorrow, and I will be teaching you or talking to you about my thoughts on Laser Optimus Prime. And um, I find it funny that every time I do one of these Blindformers episodes, something that never gives me a problem always seems to give me a problem. I, it's just weird. They never, they always act up on camera. I don't know what that is. Why do they always act up on camera? Well, I hope you've enjoyed the show. Until next time.